this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the view deck in a few different use cases. First, let's go ahead and bring in a, a view deck by right clicking on the stage and choosing insert components and view deck. And I'm going to set up uh, this use case uh, view deck the way I want to. So let's go ahead and bound it 10 pixels from the top and 10 pixels from the left and right. And let's also say that it's going to be 90 pixels in height. Now in this dashboard, I'm going to create a banner and I want to have my components kind of cycle through. So um, I have my view deck set up. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in a few different images that I have. You may bring in DG5 files, PNG files, widgets, uh, such as like charts, gauges, um, into the view deck. So whichever you prefer. In this use case, I'm just gonna use images for um, this demonstration. So in our outlines, you can see that our components have been brought in. If we choose the view deck and we look in our properties panel under selection, we can see that the first image, header one, defaults at zero. So whenever you bring in a component, uh, the default first uh, component brought in is uh, zero. And if we choose one, it's gonna go to header two. And if we wanna see header three, we can just say two. And let's just bring it back to our first image, which is selected index of zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click on our view deck and go into data flow. So again, what I'm going to show is how to create um, a cycling of components in the view deck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a logic operation, which is the stopwatch, and I'm going to left click and drag over the output arrow and bind it to my selected index. In order for this to start rotating, I just need to enable this and you'll see that it cycles through. Notice that the output continues counting. So in order to make it cycle through the components that I want to, I'm just gonna say, let's set the modulo to three. So it's gonna cycle through zero, one, two, and then go back around. Now it's going quite quickly. The interval is defaulted at half a second, 0.5, so we can slow it down and set it to one second. We can slow it down to like five seconds or 10 seconds, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna leave it at three. So let's go ahead and demonstrate another use case of the view deck. Let's right click on the stage and insert another view deck. Let's set it up appropriately on our stage. Now let's go ahead and bring in a floor plan into our view deck. Now I'm going to choose scaling and make sure that the image is set to fit ratio. And let's go ahead and bring in a chart. And also a gauge. So if we click on the view deck, we notice that floor plan one will be the selected index of zero column chart will be selected index of one, and the gauge will be selected index of two. So if we select view deck, and we choose zero, it'll be the floor plan. If we choose one, it'll be the chart, and two, the gauge. Let's go ahead and create some buttons that's going to click through our components uh, within the view deck. So let's bring in a group, and, and let's go ahead and set it up appropriately on our stage. Now let's call this menu buttons group and let's go ahead and create some buttons. So let's bring in some text components and I'm going to say that this is gonna occupy 100% in width of my menu group. And the height, we'll just set it at about 120, we'll do 115 pixels in height. Let's go ahead and add a fill to our menu button and set the opacity at 50%. 
and let's set the text to the bottom. And let's say that this is going to be our floor plan button. Change the font to Ephralite as well. And just go ahead and create an action state. So let's go ahead and do a mouse enter and leave action state. So add action, do mouse enter and leave. Record, go into the properties and we'll say that it's going to go to 100% and the cursor is going to change to a hand. We can preview this. Works correctly. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this button. Go back to our menu buttons group and change the layout from absolute to vertical. And I'm going to put 10 pixels to the top on our second button and change this from floor plan to chart. Duplicate this and change this to say gauge. So when I click on one of these buttons it's going to click through to the correct component within uh, this view deck. So to do that I'm going to select my menu buttons group. I'm going to choose selection within uh, my properties panel and I'm going to bring up my selected index uh, binding dialog. And I'm going to enable the select child on click. What this is going to do is when I enable this, it's going to say when I click one of these buttons, it's going to select the child within this view deck. Let me demonstrate. Click on view deck. Now we're going to bind this to the selected index of the view deck. So again, by turning on this select a child on click, it's going to select the child on a click inside this view deck. So if we go to preview, it should do so. That concludes uh, this tutorial on the view deck in DGLX5.